When cattle arrive at a feedlot, they go through the induction process. This process may vary from feedlot to feedlot, but essentially involves drafting, weighing, and administering any required vaccines or treatments before cattle can go to their home pens. This is another process that can be a source of stress to the animals, so it's important that it is done in such a way that allows them to settle into their new home as quickly as possible. The processes that, that cattle go through when they arrive at a feedlot are probably no different to uh, what cattle go through when they turn up at any other environment, but because it is more intense in terms of the number of cattle that are there, um, the amount of activity that's going on, the number of people that might be there on a day-to-day -day basis. So cattle actually need to be handled in quite a specific way to enable them to just settle into the routine of, of the new facility where they're at. We like to induct cattle within the first 48 hours if we can and preferably on the first day, within the first 24 hours. Reason being is we want to we want to get them through the induction procedure and start adapting to their home pen in the feedlot environment as soon as possible. We don't want to interrupt that with some delayed induction. Also, uh, practically, uh, the, any vaccines um, and induction products given uh, on arrival, uh, we want them to be working at the front end of their arrival on the feedlot, again, not to be delayed sort of in the feeding period. Um, the difference would be if cattle have had a long transit and we see that they've it's obvious that they have been physically stressed, that there's injuries, uh, the cattle are tired, they've been really knocked around. We'll give, we'll give those cattle a bit more time to recover. They possibly will have their first day just recovering um, and, and then we'll make an assessment the next day on, on inducting them. But typically we like to process in the first 24 to 48 hours. The psychology, just psychology in animals, they don't want much. They want contentment. Con they need food to be content. They need water, so if you're in a feed feedlot environment, they need food and they need water. They need shelter and they need mates, but they need good good handling, good acceptance. Like it's like dumping a mob of kids at the first day of school, and if they got whacked into like I was when I was first at boarding school, I wanted to get out of there. And you do that in a feedlot, or do that with weaners, little babies. They turn up and you start whacking into them. They don't want to be there. In a feed yard is similar, you dump a heap of cattle, they're getting dumped in there all the time, it's like a boarding school, and if they don't just get a little bit of help from the people that are there to, to take them, it's not much, it's just let them know that they're wanted.